100 years. Disney is celebrating 100 years. And if things go the way they plan, they'll take over the entire world and then celebrate it another 100 years. Wish is the latest movie to come to us from Disney Animation Studios. It stars Ariana DeBose and Chris Pine and celebrates the 100th anniversary of Disney. As the trailer says, this movie is 100 years in the making. In here, we go to a kingdom where magic is prevalent. There is a sorcerer king who is able to grant wishes once every year at a ceremony. But our princess, Asha, discovers there's something sinister about the king. And when she uncovers this plot, she takes it upon herself to save everyone and become the hero she was meant to be. Wish is a big deal for Disney. This is them celebrating 100 years. They're a studio that pioneered pretty much the way we have animation today. They had the Renaissance era. They've pretty much been the staple. They have been the benchmark for a very long time until very recently, in which case they've kind of tapered off. And Wish was supposed to be a celebration of that. It was it though? And the answer is really no. It's not. Wish is meh. That's the best way I can put it. This movie is very underwhelming. For the movie that's supposed to be about 100 years, the movie seems caught up in nostalgia, but also wanting to be relevant now, but doesn't seem to understand what Disney was. Disney was always the people who pushed technology and animation and creativity forward. This doesn't feel like any of this. This feels very lazy. There are some callbacks in here that don't feel necessary because they're put in the movie. They're literally callbacks to other Disney movies. And it, on top of that, just feels cheap. To put it honestly, the movie feels AI generated. Nothing in this movie feels original. It just feels like it's going through the motions, going through the numbers. Nothing grand or epic is in this movie. Nothing tells you this is a hundred years. There's nothing that just sucks you in. Like I was thinking the hundredth anniversary, this is something Disney should have been planning ten years before they got here. This should have been planned back in 2014. They should have been working on this for that long as far as I'm concerned. This just feels thrown together and it feels like they try to hit basic beats and lost the idea of what Disney really was in the process and just made a generic animated movie, which is just such a letdown. For the positives of this movie, though, I will say the movie has some pretty good performances, though I'm not a fan of how all of them are written, which doesn't always make them fun to watch on screen. Chris Pine, though, is King Magnifico, is by far and away the best character in the entire movie. Everything about him, the character design, his song, which actually is the best out of the music, which I don't like the music in here. There are no memorable songs. You ask me to name the songs of this movie, I can't. I don't know what they're about. This is one of those movies where it's a singing movie. It's where someone just starts singing. It's not a musical. Someone just starts singing. And it seems like they're trying to rip off Lin-Manuel Miranda, but the process sounds really bad and cheap, and sounds like an AI created the music as well. And there's nothing glorious or memorable. I don't know anything about this, but Chris Pine's character is probably the best part of the movie. He's over the top, evil, and I love him for that. He nails it. Everyone else here is alright. There is a goat in here, which is pretty funny. I have fun with him. He can, after a while, run dry. And there's a hilarious deer joke in here about deers in the headlights. Other than that, and a few creative things that happen, and some jokes, and a few good ideas which aren't fully flushed out, this movie is dry. This movie lacks anything to really burst it and to get it up there. The animation style looks unfinished. I'm aware Disney's trying to go with it's a 2D, 3D hybrid. It looks nothing like that. It looks like unfinished CG, and is not pleasant to watch. The movie feels cheap. It doesn't feel amazing or inspiring and just the entire premise itself is just not something that lends itself to much of anything and the ending is literally just solved the problems are solved in the most cliched way i think i've ever seen it's just so incredibly bad the character of asha and here's our princess is just literally cut and paste of every disney princess we've had since about moana they all act exactly the same they're awkward they're funny they're relatable, except for the fact that I've never seen any teenager in my generation who this is supposed to be appealing to, or a young child for that matter, act like this. This movie also is very kid-centric. It's not a family movie. Disney was usually family-friendly. This is not for a family. Kids would watch this. And even then, I don't know how much fun they'd have because the kids I saw with weren't really having fun time. In fact, one kid literally said, Can we go home now? So that's a testament to how this movie was. This movie does not hold up well. It's a huge letdown for me. It's much of what Disney could have done thrown out in replacement for corporate studio-generated content that misses the idea of what they are and truly shows Disney's disconnect as they are the studio who 
Can't please people trying to please people for the 100th anniversary. I don't recommend you see Wish. I'd say watch it if it comes out on Disney+. Plus. And even then, you don't have to. You're not missing anything. Just watch it because it's the 100th anniversary, I guess. But there's way greater Disney stuff in the past because there's no nuance or subtlety or anything to this or art. It's just a movie that's there and exists and it got made. And it's not really worth your time. I'm going to give Wish a 4 out of 10. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you, and I'll see you all next time.